Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4 called Plasma Big Screen. Now this is very reminiscent of Android TV, but this is based on KDE Neon, a Linux distribution with the Plasma desktop interface. Plasma has been totally customized to kind of give it that Android TV feel, but overall it's been working really well on the Raspberry Pi 4 so far, especially with the 2.1 GHz overclock. So what is Plasma Big Screen? Basically, this is an operating system for your big screen TV that runs on the Raspberry Pi 4. It's pretty awesome because it does support Mycroft AI, which will allow you to search for YouTube videos and things like that using your voice. Now, in order to get this up and running, you'll have to install the operating system. It's going to give you a Mycroft AI code. You'll create an account over on their website, put it in, and it's enabled. Unfortunately, to get Mycroft AI up and running properly, you'll need a compatible remote. Now, I have ordered one of these, but I did test out a few other remotes with microphones built in, and I can't get anything working. So hopefully when this comes in, I'll be able to do another video on it. But this is what they're recommending. They have tested it on the Raspberry Pi 4, and it does work. So as for voice apps, there's really not that much going on. We have YouTube, BitChute, SoundCloud, Wikidata, Food Wizard, and Usplash wallpaper skill. These are all Mycroft AI skills. So basically, if it's not listed here, voice functionality is not going to work with that particular app. But we do have YouTube, Wikidata, and SoundCloud already pre-installed. So like I mentioned, this works on the Raspberry Pi 4. It's based on KDE Neon. It's the Plasma desktop interface that's been fully customized. It does support Libsec. And I have tested this with a couple different TVs. It does work really well. But one thing that I have noticed is if I connect this to an Amazon Fire TV, the voice functionality with the Amazon Fire TV remote doesn't work with this. So you will need a really compatible remote for that voice functionality. But it's really easy to install. You're going to download the beta image here, flash with Etcher, turn on your Raspberry Pi, and it's up and running. You will need to set up that Mycroft AI, but it does walk you through it as soon as you get into the operating system. So links for all of this will be in the description, but let's go ahead and move over to my Raspberry Pi 4 running Plasma Big Screen. All right, so here it is. This is Plasma Big Screen running on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now I do have this Pi overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz. This is a four gigabyte model, but everything seems to be functioning pretty well for running on a little single board computer like the Raspberry Pi. I will be doing another video as soon as I get a fully compatible voice remote so we can check out that Mycroft AI. And by the way, if the TV you're using this on supports SEC, the remote will work for it as long as it's enabled in the settings on the TV. I connected this to a 32-inch Amazon Fire TV, has the Amazon Fire remote, and everything worked except for the home button and voice functionality. And that's because it's all tied into the Amazon Fire TV itself. Even over SEC, it'll work in the background for the Fire portion of the TV. So down here at the bottom... If we go to audio, we can change it to the 3.5 millimeter audio jack out or HDMI. I'm running this over HDMI here. Big screen settings, not much in here. We do have use color tiles or use expanding tiles. I prefer using the color tiles. Mycroft skill installer. There's not much in here right now, but over time there will be. So for voice functionality on this, unfortunately I cannot show it off because I don't have a compatible voice remote for this. But you can search directly from the main menu for YouTube, SoundCloud, BitChute. I guess this is a wallpaper skill, so you can change your wallpaper using your voice. Wikidata skill, and Food Wizard. So right now these are the only apps that are compatible with the Mycroft AI, but I'm sure more will come as more people install this on their Pi and start building apps for this. So what we do have installed is BitChute, SoundCloud, Wikidata, and YouTube right off the bat. As for other applications, we have a couple web browsers like Aura, Falcon, and Firefox. We also have a Dolphin File Manager and Terminal. So if we go to console, now if I install, let's say, an open source image editor called GIMP, it won't show up on the front page, but there are some apps that are compatible here. So if I want to install RetroArch, I could go sudo apt Git install RetroArch. It's installed. We'll back up and I should have it listed on my main menu somewhere here. Right here under games. We have RetroArch. If we launch it here, given this is an older version because that's what it gets when you do the RetroArch install, but it is compatible and it does boot up from the main menu as you can see. So overall, I've actually had a really good time with this. 
we'll head over to YouTube real quick. And up in the top right hand corner, you can see that little logo there. That's the Mycroft AI logo. So at the top, we have home, history, search. We'll just go with something easy here, CBS News. Monday marks the end of the administration's 15 days. And as you can see, it's working here. President Trump has said I can back up. This is the United States of America. On Thursday, and while this is running, if we press right on our remote, we have a selection of more videos that we can play next. And we'll just back up here, and I'll press my home button. It'll bring me back to the main menu. And as you can see, the background has changed from the wallpaper menu here. You can set your wallpaper if you want to. And yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to more releases of this operating system here. I'm really enjoying it now. Uh, we do have a browser built in. And this little remote that I have does have mouse functionality built in, but you could use an air mouse also. Like I mentioned, that G20 remote that they recommend is something that I do have coming in hopefully soon, but uh, shipping has been really delayed lately. But we'll just head over to Raspberry Pi's website. And as you can see, the web browser is pretty quick here, and you can do this from your couch. So it's going to be interesting to see how this comes along. Hopefully it's just not a forgotten operating system. I really wanted to do kind of a first look video at this, just to get more people interested in it. They do have a few games pre-installed. We'll just go to Extreme Tux Racer. And I'll enter the event just like this. So yeah, this is just one of the games that's pre-installed, but it does work on the Raspberry Pi. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this. I think it's really interesting. And right now, even in beta form, it seems to work pretty well on the Raspberry Pi 4, especially with that overclock. I will leave links in the description to the website where you can download this. Basically, you're just going to flash with Etcher like any other image, boot it up, and you're up and running. If you do want to use the voice functionality with Mycroft AI, you will have to set up an account on their website, but then you'll just put in your little password there and it's enabled on this device here running Plasma Big Screen. But that's it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. I wish there was a little more that I could show you right now. I'm waiting on that remote and as soon as I get it, hopefully this will be updated a little by then, but I'll make another video on it showing off that AI functionality. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but like always, Thanks for watching.